Okay, it is time to take this thing out for a drive. It's dried off. It hasn't like totally dried off yet from the mud. So I kind of want to try to drive a little bit and try to get, I sprayed some oil on it. So let's see what this thing can do. Um, I'm gonna try the woods course and some rocks and stuff like that because this isn't really the normal vehicle that I drive on those. Typically I use like a competition or a SCX 10 3. This doesn't fit the mold. Let's get outside, right to the rocks, to the wood, and let's have fun. So let's see what this normal truck can do. I'm kind of curious here because it's not, you know, super narrow or anything like that. This is just a normal build truck. Nothing really special about it. So this will be interesting to me. When, when we put all this stuff together, we pretty much measured out for, you know, a SCX 10.3. Oh. Huh, okay. Now let's see if we can pull this line right here. Man, we had all that rain and stuff. There's still water. It actually looks like it washed off a lot of the dirt and stuff that was on here. So, I mean, not only was it rain, it was a lot of wind. In fact, I think most of the country got some of that storm. Oh, not so good right there. So we got here. Got to get that over. I mean, I typically run comp trucks. Oh golly. That was a little on the rough side. And when you run a comp truck, you know, generally speaking, they stay within a certain width and all that. So you kind of got to, well, they're not really the same as driving a normal truck. And see, I'm offline again right here. Maybe I can pull the back end across. I doubt it though. Wow, this is a lot more difficult <laughs> with this truck. Oh my goodness. Man. All right, let's see if we can come down through, down low here. Man, this might be, might have to add some width to some of these obstacles for like vehicles like this, you know? Looking okay right here. Got that. Good pull up that one. I want to take it back and go across this. Now let's see what we got going here. All right, this right here is super easy. This right here could be fun. I know when I put this thing in the mud, like just maybe, you know, an hour ago, these tires, they hook up like a dream. So possibly one of the reasons for this run is to try to work the oil into the bearings and stuff, you know, just to try to hopefully not have to tear everything on here apart. Let's see if I can get on this correctly here. Should be able to get it. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad at all right there. Oh, I just messed up right there, dudes. Whenever we host a comp out here on this, we always have a rule to where if you know you're gonna fall off, just go ahead and grab your truck and put it back on without hand to God penalty or any of that stuff. There's no sense in just letting your truck fall off of this stuff, you know? It's just not worth it. Now there's no overdrive or anything on here, so a little bit different way of driving for me. Let's try this right here. Oh, I should back up. 
All right. Oh boy. Nice pull down that. Clean, let's see what we got here. Ooh, either that rain washed this off or these tires are really good at this. Look at that. Look at that, holding them beautifully. Yeah, nice. That was me playing around with the throttle. Uh, dropping down this, probably gonna be Probably gonna be bad. No, got it. And to continue with all this, this is an entirely new day, by the way. I forgot to charge the battery after I did the mud and I just had to free everything up. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. <clears throat> so, oh uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue this thing on here. A few climbs I want to try to get. Maybe we can stay on the rock here. There we go. Yeah, let's go try some stuff. Gatekeeper. Oh. Now I do have this DSM on here. I will use it. I think I'm gonna need it. <laughs> try a little bit of throttle. Ugh. Oh, that bumper hanging out is gonna be an issue, won't it? Oh, there we go. No chance. Oh, it might have a chance. Oh, it almost had a chance. Dudes, I can't believe it. How'd you like that turn? Ugh. Everything is catching on this thing, isn't it? Oh. Oh my goodness. Dude, this thing is not meant for what I'm trying to do with it. Oh my goodness. I am so far out of where this thing should be. This is kind of like a basher truck, really. Like a basher crawler. Even it got the hook though. Golly. All right, let's do some driving with the winch. Since my driver, Oh, since my driver mod apparently is not active today. And I was thinking this was a DSM bungee recovery kit, but it wasn't. You know, I do have a DSM cable on it. Okay, let's winch some more. Now I should be using, um, you know, two hands to drive for this because of the way this works, but uh, I think I'm gonna be all right though. Nice. You know, I haven't done any good bashing with a crawler lately. So we might as well, right? This thing still isn't right after that water. It is not right. I hope I didn't mess up the fusion on this. We'll have to see. Hopefully not. Oh, I missed the uh, proper jumping area. So all in all, it took me two days to get this one. 
um, forgot to charge the battery, then just got messed around with everything else and went back out there and yes, I had to work it. It looks like it might be okay unless the bearings are locked up and the shads are just spinning freely now. Not sure, but I hope I didn't mess up the motor or the receiver or something because it really was not acting right. Like the day of when I took this out, it was acting really decent, but when I went back out there the next day, it did not act right. Hopefully I didn't mess up that fusion, but that's what comes with nasty mud. Guys, hope you have a great day. Sit back, relax, grab a bag of Doritos. I really like the nacho cheese. Not really the spicy ones, just a regular. And sometimes you'll get a really good bag of nacho cheese. I, I stumbled across the holy grail of nacho cheese, by the way. I was at work and I opened up a bag and it had this gigantic knob of just nothing but nacho cheese. It was just a clump of it. It was the greatest thing ever. It took me like three hours to eat it. Oh man, it took me like three hours to eat that thing, but man, I nibbled on that pure nacho cheese. Man, it was awesome. Yeah, have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships if you guys want to be a part channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that i can so guys check that description there's a lot of info down there thank you all for watching